Okay, so we've got the frontier doorways and airlocks. Um, and we've also got a, um, a galactic version of this as well, which I'll just grab for you. There we go. So we've also got the galactic version as well. These are absolutely identical. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you just, you know, um, uh, how to assemble one of those. The only differences are the textures, a little bit of scatter texture difference there, and obviously the texture on the doors. So, looking at the Frontier one, la, 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 la. I'm going to pop this out for you. Um, so, do, 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 do. Okay, so first up, we've got your galactic, uh, sorry, your um, frontier uh, airlocks. Big old wide one, some smaller ones, and these are basically just really, really cool walls, okay, with these lovely unique arches in them. Um, and each one comes with the airlock door, which we put in, and so on and so forth. Okay, so um, doors really simple. Um, you're just gonna grab a couple of these matching uh, stands and that allows that to stand in there which is really cool okay so that's that one and it's exactly the same uh, with these as well we've got the singles and we've got a little door for each one of those and we've even got a really cool full shield one there as well okay um, so that's really cool so we got that um, we've also got this really cool little storage locker which we've already showed you how to put together um, on the uh, equipment items. And there you go. There is a really nice little storage locker. Okay. Um, there's this tiny little piece here, which is just a piece of general scatter that you can just scatter in your, uh, in, in your battlefield. Uh, and then you've got this. Now this is your reactor chamber. Um, <clears throat> This is really, this is a, you really need to follow the instructions for putting this one together because it is, um, you need to put it together in a particular way so that it just goes together at all, okay? So, let's do that first of all. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, give this a bit of a, a bend like that. And again, this has got some strong half cuts on it, so you really need to get your fingers in behind. Uh, okay, like so, and you'll end up with this, okay, yeah, so I'll give that a little bit more of a bend, little bit more, little bit more, little bit more, little bit more, okay, there you go, that's not too bad. Don't worry about that tension, that will be held together by the actual um, chamber itself. Okay, in here, you've got some crazy little tiny bits that can be popped out. Um, and because of the way this tool, in it, uh, this, this tool works, um, they have to be um, anchored in, okay? Now you can either leave those in, or you can pop them out, okay? Now if you're gonna pop them out, I'd suggest you get a little scalpel and just, just nip in the corners there to help you get that out. I'm not gonna do that, because I'm really lazy, and I'm gonna pinch these out, okay? Um, so what you need to do is you need to assemble this in just the right way to get it to get it to assemble correctly um, and depending on the, the, the slots here we want to try and get it um, looking through here this this one here has got quite a wide slot here which makes it a bit loose so I'm going to target that to this narrow slot here okay and it, and that helps to keep it in uh, that's really cool um, this one looks all right tightness wise so I'm going to put that in a wide slot um, doo -ba -doo, doo -ba -doo. you know what, this kind of looks alright to be fair. Uh, maybe that one's slightly loose, so I'll put it in there, which has got a really tight bit on it. Um, and that's probably going to go in there perfectly. There we go. Okay, so first of all, so basically if you've got one of these that's got a bit of a wide slot at the bottom, just make sure you put it into one of the slots on here, which is a bit thinner, because that way it gives you that really nice kind of grip, as it were. That's one of the first ways you can assemble this, um, which is really cool all by itself. And if you take this little top unit here, there's a little bit you can punch out, 
which you're going to need. Okay, and you can you can stick that on top of there, like so. Line this up. Okay, and there you've got this really really cool kind of um, framework that looks like it needs something in it, and you can stand little miniatures in there and stuff like that. Um, you'll notice these areas are now raised off the floor because it's raised here, and that's what these little these little bits here were for. Okay, so you can basically take those. Um, and you can you can kind of pile them up like that, and you'll see that you've got too large and too small. And then you can well you can leave it like this and have it scattered if you like. And that gives you, that makes it look like they're they're going down into the ground, which gives you a massively brilliant 3D effect. Um, what you really want to do um, is just uh, dab a little bit of glue on there to hold that onto there. And then if you want to, a little bit dab of glue here and here. And then they will always just be on there all the time. They won't move around or anything like that. Okay. And that's your chamber. You want to put this inside. You've got to do it in a very particular way. Okay. So we're all about the options here. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of keep those in the areas that I need them. And then I'm going to very, very carefully um, slot this, this on. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start in from this side here into this slot here. I'm going to pop that in here and I'm going to make sure that I pull that all the way back so that it is here. And you can see the bottom pit, the bottom part here, slots into the bottom. Okay, bottom into the bottom there. Okay, and then I'm going to put it back in its slot like that. After I've done that, and at points I might pull this out to give me some flexibility, I'm going to do the same thing again with the next one. I'm going to pop it in the top, and I'm going to slot it both into this part of the bottom and here at the same time. Okay, so and that, that means that this moves over a little bit and a little bit of jiggery pokery it goes in uh, and it goes in like so there we go okay haven't pushed it all the way in there yet um, i might need to in a second i might not just as i'm i take the next one and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to pop it in here okay and i'm going to slot it in and I'm going to need to add just a little bit of pressure to allow me to get that underneath there. Okay, and again, all very loose at the moment. Um, and I'm then going to take this final one, which is going to go in here at the bottom, like so. Uh, okay, and I'm going to take that under here. I'm going to get it. Now this is where I'm going to start slotting this in on this side as far as I can to give me the room to move this chamber across the top and I'm going to slot that in as well um, and that should with a bit of luck allow me with a bit of tension to get this in here there we go like so got to make sure these bits in here are pulled as far back to here as you can that gives you the space to clip this under okay mm. then I'm going to go around and I'm just going to check that these are all pushed in, which they are. Okay, and then this is what you end up with. You end up with this, and you get a little bit of a gap here. Okay, not a problem, just give it a bit of a squeeze. What that is held together by this. Okay, so you can then pop this on the top, like so, and again, you'll need to jiggle that in to hold it in place. Okay, and that pushes those two parts together, which is a perfect fit. Now, you have got if you see here, a little bit more card showing than on here. Now you can fix that, okay, just by putting your finger in if you can, okay, um, and or a pencil, and, and all you're going to do is you're going to push the tension and bring one that other piece of card out a little bit so it lines up a little bit better. I'm going to do that now. And then push in at the bottom here, and as you can see, that is a perfect fit, and that is absolutely perfect 
okay and I've made no adjustments or anything with any of this okay so that uh, that that is really really cool okay um, this little part here then goes on top and if you're if once assembled you're like Shh, don't want to keep taking that apart um, I do it all the time but um, you can put a tiny bob, bob of glue on there and that will actually stay where it is personally I like to leave it loose because I like to, I like the idea of putting stuff in there, or you know, I don't know, I don't know, a bit weird like that. Okay, so um, there you go, and you put your bits underneath, and you've got this really nice chamber. Um, certainly the most complicated thing we've ever tried to achieve, but we did it, and we're very, very proud of that. Okay, so that is your frontier doorways and airlocks, and your galactic doorways and airlocks. Fantastic.